Hi, if this is your first time in this channel, I'm Tony, and welcome to my fourth vlog. In this episode, I'll share to you the top three books that has most changed my life. Though this is in no particular order, number one is Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. This is very interesting. Okay? It's in this book that I have learned about assets and liabilities. And that assets, these are the things that puts money into our pocket, wherein liabilities puts money away from our pocket. So if you are a millennial like me who wanted to be financially free in the future, well, knowing the difference between the two is very important. And here is why. One of the reasons why the rich become richer and the poor become poor is because of spending habits. Did you know that rich people always buy assets first and luxuries last? Which means that if they wanted to, if they wanted to be I mean, if they wanted to travel, or they wanted to buy a car or a house, they first invest in businesses or they make investment first. And the money coming from these investments, which then pays for their luxuries. And I'm very thankful with this book because it saved me from spending my salary to liabilities. In fact, this book led me to my first real estate investment. Why real estate? Because we all know that land is a limited resource and habang ka kadugay, ka increase ang ihang value. And though my first real estate investment is just a, a small townhouse, but then within a year, its value appreciated to around 30 to 40%. See? And so if you are someone who is already earning right now, do grab this opportunity to start investing because it doesn't matter how small it is as long as it gets you in the game of building your asset column. And second is A Secrets of the Truly Rich by Bo Sanchez. According to the book, now I two major problems when it comes to money, number one is dying too young and second is living too long. And both these problems need to be addressed. And I am very thankful I a book kay in a book na learn ako all about insurances and retirement fund. Problem number one is dying too young. This is very important, especially to all breadwinners who are known to be providing for the whole family. Kay wala takabolo in the near future there will be situations or things na mahitabo that will hinder us from having a job or worst case is meeting the creator too soon. At least, having insurance will give us the peace of mind that no matter what happens, whoever is left behind will be taken care of. And second is living too long. Uh, there's a survey and a mention sa book na gikandak siya for individuals who are 65 years old and above and it was found out that 40% of the senior citizens continue to work on a job in order to survive. 30% depend, depended on their relatives for survival. 20% are those who depended on their GSIS or SSS. 8% depended on charitable institutions for survival and only 2% are financially independent. That is why it is very important to build our retirement fund. And though I am not an expert on this one, so if you wanted to know more about building your retirement fund, better check the book, read it, Eight Secrets of the Truly Rich by Paul Sanchez. And the third book that has most improved my life is Show Your Work by Austin Cleon. Na balan ako niya na book through my favorite YouTuber, which is Ali Abdal. So if you're someone who is also interested in productivity tips or other uh, book recommendation, might as well check his YouTube channel, Ali Abdal. Okay. Uh, one of the reasons why we are afraid to put ourselves out there, especially in social media, especially in social media, is a mahalog ta sa mga criticism, sa mga basher. So that is why uh, before I used to hide my identity. I didn't use my real name in my Facebook page. I used beautiful thinking instead. Kay 
I was thinking that if ever there will be criticisms or bashers, then they will never know that it's me behind that Facebook page. And I also have this idea that in order for me to be able to share something online, anything that na mo learn ako from reading or anything extra experiences is that my credibility. I mean, abi na ko. We needed to be a genius or an expert first before we can share to others. Well, in fact, we don't really need to be a genius. All we have to do is to be a documentarian of what we are doing. So if you are someone, for example, na hilig magdraw, then you can document your journey in drawing. In, in drawing or painting, whenever we are starting to build our brand in social medias, whether in Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube, in the first phase, dili na to kailangan mag-think all about our subscribers or mga likers. We should first think all about putting ourselves out there na we just need to be findable kay kay as long as we are findable online, we continue to post uh, even small bits of what we are doing every day, then eventually the people who have the same interest will surely find their way to our work. In instances of criticisms or bashers, uh, ang nalearn ako ani ng book is we should always learn to take a punch, okay? There will always be bashers, okay? If you, kung mag, ano daw ka online, kung mag, post ka online, dawa tip sa yourself, you know, it in yourselves na, dahil kung di makakita ani. So, if you think that you are not, you are not um, sure enough or you are not ready enough to share what you've got to the world, then just don't post it yet. Okay? And if ever you have ideas about anything anything in life then better share it with others because we don't know maybe our dumbest idea might be the one that will lead us to success and so that's it those are the three books that has most changed my life rich dad poor dad uh eight secrets of the truly rich and show your work by austin cleon I hope you get something important from this one and maybe in the future I'll share to you uh, other book recommendations and the books, the lessons that I've got from the book and how the book has changed my life. And mind you, I am not actually a reader. If you all know, uh, during my college years, only me from our group of friends is not a reader, but this is one of the things, the good things that happened to me during the pandemic. Okay, wala ko work that time, and wala ko mabuhat, so I started to read books, and then here I am right now. As what Austin Cleon said in this book is to be a documentarian of everything. That's why I am documenting every book that I have read. I am sharing this online and. I will continue to do this for all the books that I will be reading. I will be sharing to you my insights and how the books has changed my life. And we don't know, maybe this might help you too. And so that's it. Thank you for watching until this part and see you again in my next vlog. And I also have a Facebook page. Instead of beautiful thinking, I already used my name, Clony Kulpa. See you. Bye-bye.